Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, uh, and, and thank you for calling this hearing today. Thank you for all of our, our panelists for uh, sharing your uh, thoughts and ideas about this important issue. Uh, many people in my home state of Oregon are uh, talking about the importance of increasing access while reducing costs. So this is certainly uh, an important topic. Uh, I represent a district that includes an area that's known as the Silicon Forest. It's like the Silicon Valley, only with trees. Uh, and we have uh, a lot of technology companies, uh, Intel, doing a lot of great work in uh, developing our health IT uh, infrastructure. Uh, the Oregon hospital systems have been really early adopters uh, of using common IT systems, and they've been working through informal collaborations. I recently hosted a roundtable discussion that brought together uh, many of the stakeholders. We had uh, the Oregon Office of Health Information Technology, the Medical School, uh, Oregon Health Sciences University, the Oregon Healthcare Workforce Institute, community colleges, software developers, the Oregon Center for Aging and Technology, and many others uh, to talk about where we were going, the developments so far, and some of the challenges. Uh, one of the interesting issues that came up, um, and, and I believe you, you touched on, Dr. Mostashari, was uh, the importance of having some uh, medical knowledge in the actual software and systems development phase. Uh, the, the medical workflow uh, is really important in, in the initial design of, of the software. Uh, and, and the development, uh, so, so that's an issue that we, we feel uh, really needs to get addressed. Um, and, and also, uh, there was a discussion about involving providers at every level, from uh, you know, hospitals to home care, and in, in many cases to, to f completely fulfill the, the use of uh, the medical records. You have patients and caregivers who are uh, involved, and they need to be comfortable with the technology as well. So, so could Dr. Romain and perhaps Dr. Mosashari, um, I know there's been some discussion about how you go about engaging healthcare professionals in the actual development of the technology, uh, but would you also uh, comment, please, about the work that you've done in, in engaging healthcare professionals in the implementation as well? The, the way that NIST uh, works most effectively in uh, working with the community to develop standards, uh, particularly in a space where historically we, we don't have a lot of expertise in, in medicine. We do a lot of uh, life science research, uh, but that's quite different from clinical practice, for example. Uh, and so we have to engage the communities. Uh, most effectively, we do that with the standards development organizations that do have the various technical background that we need. So uh, standards development organizations such as uh, we, we work with uh, uh, ASTM and, and HL7 and other uh, organizations that are involved in this arena uh, specifically to look at uh, the ways that we can help uh, develop the, the standards necessary uh, in this space to be the most effective. And that does include looking at the workflow uh, associated with this. Um, we also could not actually contribute to this without this very strong partnership with ONC where a lot of that uh, expertise resides. And so I'm very pleased that the partnership that we have with ONC is, is as strong as it is. Um, the, the issue you raise is of critical importance. The software, uh, and there are, um, is wonderful. There are hundreds of new vendors, hundreds of new products. The 60 percent of those vendors have 50 or fewer employees. Uh, there are small companies, there, um, and uh, the, it's critical that as we have technological innovation, those technologies are more usable and work for the frontline clinical staff, the nurses and doctors. Um, and the usability issue here is, is something absolutely critical. The, the, uh, we've, been, we've been doing uh, a lot of work with our stakeholders, including through our Office of our Chief Medical Officer, with many of the uh, provider uh, groups in the usability space. The, I, I do, though, having been in this space for some time now, 
Um, I'm, I'm, and why I'd be interested in, in hearing Willa's uh, perspective on this as well. The products are a lot usable today. If you look at products that came out four or five years ago, it's really night and day in terms of how usable they are, and you know, iPad applications and a whole host of new innovations around usability are now coming to the fore. And as it should be, competition between vendors for the most usable product, I think, is going to be yielding us tremendous results in the future. Thank you, Dr. Fields. Did you want? Yes, the usability is is an issue. They aren't at they're more usable than they used to be, and hopefully they aren't as usable as they will be. <laughs> you know, that that we aren't where we need to be. That said, we need to continue with the implementation. And one of the barriers in the United States, if you look at the literature, is clearly a major barrier to implementing these systems is cost. And thanks to our federal government, the cost barrier is being lessened because of the incentive program. So with that, we'll have the uh, what Dr. Mustashari talked about, all the new vendors. We're having the increased competition in the innovation and the users, the nurses I talk to, the physicians I talk to, they want systems that are easy to be used. Um, and we as a public are very computer savvy. I looked up some data, 80 percent of the households have computers. And of that 80 percent, um, 74 percent of adults, so that is not kids, it is 74 percent of the adults are using the Internet, and 80 percent of that 74 percent are getting health information. So that means that the majority of your constituents in getting their health care, the number one thing is looking for health care information. They know how to use the systems. They are going to be demanding that our clinicians know how, and the usability is getting better, but it is not where it needs to be. Thank you. And my time has expired. Thank you.